we're being asked first of all for the stationary points of this cubic. And the stationary points, um, so cubics might look a little bit like this. The stationary point is here and here, where the gradient is temporarily zero. So it's where dy by dx is equal to zero. Gives us stationary points. So let's work out the dy by dx. We're going to get 3x squared by bringing the power down and reducing it. Minus 12x plus 9. I've just used the rule of polynomials. Um, and this is equal to 0 for stationary points. I can actually divide through by a common factor of 3. So that's going to give me x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. And this will factorize really nicely x minus 3, x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 1 or 3. Uh, it's asked for the coordinates, so we do need to then find the values of y. When x equals 1, y is equal to, and now I can substitute it back in, it's going to be 1 cubed, which is just 1, minus 6 times 1 squared, which is just minus 6, plus 9. And that's going to give me 4. I could write it as 1, 4 if I want to. And then when x is equal to 3, we're going to get y is equal to 27. Minus 6 times 9, which is 54. You can do this with a calculator, that's no problem. Plus 9 times 3, which is 27, which gives 0. And that gives me 3, 0. And those are my st stationary points. I'm told that this cubic has exactly one real root. I'd use my answer from part A. Sorry, not my equation from part A, because now there's a plus K to it. It has exactly one real root. Use my answer from part A or otherwise find the range of possible values of k. Right, let's think about this. So a good idea, I think, is to try and sketch this graph. And that's going to actually involve um, finding the roots, first of all. So let's find the roots of the original equation. Y equals, we're trying to sketch this original equation. Y equals x cubed minus 6x squared minus 9x. Okay. And to do this, I can first of all factorize out the x. That is a good shout because actually this now factorizes nicely. It's going to be x minus 3 times x minus 3 actually. So this thing here. And we've got ourselves a sketch ready. So I can see that it's going to go through the origin. It's going to go through at 3. We get these roots coming out. But I also know from previous that I've got two turning points. I've got three and zero, which is there. That's going to be a turning point. And I've got one and four. So one and four is going to be up here. And it's a positive cubic, so it's going to look a little bit like this. So let, we just need to make sure that it's going through the axis. So it's going to come up. It's, we know we've got a turning point here. Let me try that again. Actually, here, there's another turning point. It doesn't cross because there's a double root, and we see that there's a turning point. So it comes up a bit like that. Just going to move this very slightly. So it is right at... Yeah, there we go. That's, that's not the best sketch, but it, it shows the idea. Anyway, that's a sketch. And what is it a sketch of? This function here. So we're now being asked... We're being told that this thing here has exactly one real root. Okay, we've got a little bit more to do. We're not quite done. So I'm going to set x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x equal to minus k. 
and I'm going to turn it into a situation where I'm interested in where this graph um, intersects y equals minus k. I'm not, but I don't. I know that I don't know if k is positive or negative. But where do I only have one root? Well, it's going to be. This is going to be one cutoff. If so, if I draw y equals minus k here, if y equals minus k is above, um, where or I've got two. I've got well, I've got two equal roots here and one here. If it goes anywhere above, I'll just have, like here, I'll just have one root. And similarly at the bottom, if I hit it here, I'll get one root as well. Whereas here, I'll get three roots because it crosses three times. And here it's technically still three, it's just there's one distinct one and then two equal ones. So let's think about this. It must be to get one real root that minus k is going to be greater than this value of y, 4. Or minus k is going to be less than where this uh, the axis here less than 0. And so we can use that, we can basically rearrange this, we can times through by minus 1. k is going to be less than minus 4, or k is going to be greater than 0. And that, those are our answers. Those are the possible values of k. I'm just going to put a box around that. Quite tricky, this last little bit, I think. Um, I hope it makes sense. I've sketched the uh, the cubic by itself, and then I've started draw, and then I've rearranged it into this. And this is I might have, I hope I didn't lose you here. Basically, I'm interested in where now y equals this intersects this to only give one solution. So I I've got the red line. I drew uh, y equals minus k. I just drew it as a horizontal line because y equals two is a horizontal line. Y equals five is a horizontal line, etc. So I drew these horizontal lines in, and I put one at the top to say, right, this is this is where I've got um, three, three roots, and now or three solutions, and now when I get up to here, it suddenly becomes one. And where is this? It's going to be where minus k is greater than four. That's where that came from. And I looked at the one below, and it was going to be where it just uh, touches here, where it's minus k is less than zero, and then I solved the inequalities.